we need to figure out what 99.061 divided by 100 is. So we are figuring out what 99.061 divided by divided by 100. So in this situation, our divisor is already a whole number, so we don't have to do any of that multiplying by uh, 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 10 or 100 to move the decimal over to the right. It's already a whole number, so we're ready to divide. But the first thing we want to do in this, just to make sure we don't make any mistakes, is make sure we put the decimal in the right place. So the decimal is going to sit right over here. This is where it was sitting before, so this is where it will sit in our quotient. And now we are ready to divide. So the first thing we want to say is, well, does 100 go into 9? Well, no, it doesn't. So does 100 go into 99? No, it doesn't. And if we want, we could put a 0 here, but we could just keep going. We'll add the 0 at the end. So 100 doesn't go into 9. It doesn't go into 99. Does 100 go into 990? Does it go into 990? Sure, it'll go 9 times. It goes into 990. Nine times. So that's why we put the 9 above the 0, because we had to get all the way to the 0 for the 100 to be divisible into the number. 100 goes into 990 nine times. 9 times 100 is 900. And then we can subtract. So 990 minus 900 is 90. We could do that in our heads. You could say 0 minus 0 is 0, 9 minus 0 is 9. These guys cancel out. Now we can bring down, we can bring down this 6. 100 goes into 906. That's 9 times. 9 times 100 is 900. And then we can subtract. 906 minus 900 is going to be 6. And then we bring down the 1. We can bring down that 1. We bring down that 1. 100 goes into 61. It doesn't. It goes into it 0 times. It goes into it 0 times. 0 times 100 is 0. And then when you subtract, you have a remainder of 61. Now, you might be tempted to say, OK, it goes into it, uh, well, we could always put a leading 0 here, 0 0.990 times with a remainder of 61. But whenever you do, first of all, uh, when that, that's not right. The remainder isn't 61, because we're now in the decimal kind of, we're to the right of the decimal point. But in general, whenever you're dividing to decimals, you want to keep dividing. You don't want to have a remainder. And the best way to keep dividing is to remember that this has as many trailing zeros on it as you want. They're not really changing the number. So we can throw a bunch of zeros to the right of here, as many as we need. So let's throw a 0 right now. Bring it down. Let's throw that 0, bring it down. 100 goes into 610 six times. Six times. Six times 100 is 600. And then we subtract. 610 minus 600 is 10. We don't want to have a remainder, so we keep going. So let's throw, let's throw another 0 here and bring it down. And bring it down. So we have another 0 there. 100 goes into 100 exactly one time. Exactly one time. 1 times 100 is 100. And then now when you subtract, we have no remainder. And we are satisfied. And we're done. And sometimes you're going to see that you're going to have to keep doing it, and you're going to start having repeated numbers up here and strange things up here. And there's other ways we'll deal with that. But in most, in, or in this circumstance, you just want to keep going. You want to keep going until you have no remainder. So our final answer is 99 divided by 0 99 sorry 99.061 divided by 100 is equal to is equal to 0 0.99061 0.99061 and I just put a leading zero here just sometimes it makes it easier to read and you make sure people understand that there's a decimal there it just makes it a, a, a less prone to errors and we are done and just to make the point, this actually makes sense. 99 is a little bit less than 100. So 99 divided by 100 is going to be a little bit less than 1. And this number is a little bit less than 1.